I'm irritated tonight. I'll tell you why. I have two phones on the truck with me. I have this phone that I'm currently filming on, which is a V40Q or QV40 or VQ40 or something like that. It's an LG phone. And then I have this little bitty phone right here, which is a Samsung Galaxy J3 or J something like that. So, this phone, the one I'm filming on, um, has issues with memory. Uh, I've deleted a bunch of stuff, but somehow the memory is still not working correctly. Um, I am not happy with this phone, and I have not been happy with this phone since I bought it. So, the first chance I get, I'm going to go and get rid of this phone and get one that actually works. Samsung Galaxy phone. Because I had a 9 Plus and it worked great. And then I traded it in for some stupid reason for this phone. This phone. I was going to start doing the videos with this phone, like taking video and editing video, blah, blah, blah. I've done that. There's like a whole video on here. Hold on. You guys see this. There's a whole video on here that's edited and ready to go. But when I hit this little export button right here and send it off to be exported, it gets about a third of the way through and it goes like and won't like export it to one solid video. So I have video of scenery that I took today. I have video of me talking to you today. I have video of what I've been doing today. And what I've had to reduce it to at this point is basically this right here. It's me talking to you with my crazy hair. So this is real, by the way. See this? That's real hair. And this is this is real life, okay? I'm not making this crap up. I'm not putting on a pretty face for you. I know, it's a very pretty face. But I'm not putting on a pretty face for you. So um, what do I want to tell you about today? Well. Uh, I got up this morning and uh, I had like four hours left uh, in my 70 and I went to into Phoenix and I dropped off and then I picked up a load uh, of juice kids juice going back to Temple Texas well under the emergency declaration that falls under food which falls under the hours of service exemption so uh, I, I went on duty over to the shipper I backed into the door um, and then when I left that place I went into the hours of service exemption I drove up 500 miles um, I made it to uh, I'm in Texas I'm near near Fort Hancock Hannock Fort Hannock it's like exit 87 there's a truck stop here on I-10 um, that I really like they have a good little restaurant here so and usually you can find parking, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, the thing that was different about today was the ability to run the hours of service exemption, which was the first time I've ever done that, so that's kind of cool. Um, but the other thing was, and and that's what this video right here, we're supposed to be able to show you, um, is the scenery. And I've seen this scenery probably 20 times by now, right? Um, but the sky's bluer, the greens are greener, um, the, I just, it was gorgeous. Today was a gorgeous day, just a gorgeous day. And, um, it just seemed like the air's crisper. Um, I was talking to my uncle and, and he basically said that's because there aren't any airplanes in the sky. And he's right about that. There are no airplanes in the sky. So, um, if you ever wanted to see the effect no pollution has on our planet not no pollution because I'm I'm driving a diesel truck so I'm still polluting the earth but if you ever wanted to see what reduced pollution on our planet looks like pay attention for the next like couple of weeks or whatever to how everything looks um, because it, that's really going to tell you I mean go back and look at, at Venice Italy who the um, the canals nobody's moving so much the canal the mud in the canal settled down finally and like they could see to the bottom of the canal they could see fish fly. like geese came back swans not geese swans swans came like back and paddle dolphins dolphins are like like playing in the canals in in venice so um and that was a normal thing uh, at one point in venice so um yeah anybody that says that pollution is not killing our planet look around Go outside if you can without getting in trouble from, you know, the authorities. <laughs> and uh, and just see how much crisper the air is and cleaner and sniff. Don't be weird. Don't be like, just like. 
like and don't do that in your neighbor's yard or your neighbor's probably not gonna like it but um you know but go out and just kind of you know look around if you get a chance so anyway that's pretty much it you know the drill keep shining side up see you guys down the road um i swear to god i'm gonna get this like camera thing fixed at some point I will figure it out. How I did it yesterday was complicated, but I had time yesterday. So if I have time tomorrow, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to put out the other stuff. Anyway, that's it.